We entered the room, whispered to me if you need to leave for any reason, and I'll escort you out. That scene is from the new hit CBS TV show, Evil. It's Halloween night. Kristen and David are deciding if an exorcism is needed for a tormented woman. Kristen is a psychologist and David's studying for the priesthood. Joining us just in time for Halloween is the technical advisor on the Catholic faith for the program, Monsignor Donald Sacano. He's also the retired pastor of the Basilica of St. Patrick's Old Cathedral in Manhattan. Monsignor, thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure being here. Can you give us a spoiler? <laughs> what happened at oh, well, the end of that scene? Yes. I, well, you know, confidentiality to the, to the script and to the themes, I don't want to say too much. But um, uh, you'll see that there's a strain in the program that leads to a discussion between these experts on th the power of evil vis-a-vis -vis rationality and science. Did they do an exorcism? They do an exorcism. All they right. Do. Well, you're an expert on the issue. Can you tell us what is it like? Is it like what we see on the TV well, and in the movies? I just want to start off by saying that every priest and maybe every Christian should be an expert as an exorcist. Uh, we think of exorcism uh, drawn, I think, from the, the drama of a movie uh, that was made popular in the early 1970s, mm -hmm. The Exorcist, uh, William Peter Blady's book and then movie. Uh, so the spinning of a head of a possessed uh, young girl, uh, the, the, the vomit, the colorful uh, aspect rising the, of her, from her bed. But actually, it's more a blessing uh, than, than anything. The, the word exorcism really stems from the most ancient of, of Christian prayers, where we uh, invite the presence of grace in our lives and ward off evil at the same time. So uh, exorcisms are really rather common. Um, hmm. we, we, in the, our Father, when we pray, uh, deliver us from evil. Is that's a, yes, that's a, a, a teeny weeny little exorcism implanted in that, in that prayer. Or even the expelling of the, the essence of a person when they sneeze comes from a very ancient concept of, of losing part of your essence. And so you say, bless you. You know, so that, right? So you can think of that next time someone <laughs> sneezes, that you're an exorcist. Well, let's talk about what it's like to work in TV. So mm -hmm. you're a, a consultant, an advisor to this TV show. What do they often get wrong about the Catholic faith? Uh, a lot, uh, because they don't know a lot. Uh, or maybe, you know, as a priest, we know so much and, and, and try to uh, ground the program uh, in a way that really is authentic and deals with the issue at hand. One of the principal uh, characters in the, uh, David, in the, in the script, uh, who's described as a priest in training, you know, rather than seminarian. You know, and, and I think a lot of Catholics would think a priest in training is a priest who is a priest training or something, but actually he's you know, a seminarian looking forward to ordination in the script. Well, so a lot of people are unhappy with the state of mass entertainment right now. They call it coerced. They call it violent. As someone who is working in the industry, um, what's your opinion? Well, this series, uh, I'm hoping, will give serious consideration to a dialogue that's going on in the culture as to the influence and, and the power of evil and its symbols. And I'm just hoping that there is a Christian response uh, to that so that we don't dwell necessarily as we do in Halloween as it's been hijacked by the culture uh, that focuses on the downside or the evil aspects of Christianity. Well since today is Halloween can you tell us what the real meaning of Halloween is? The word Halloween uh, it's a variation or a corruption of an old English word holy hollow which we still have in the Our Father prayer hallowed be thy name, holy is thy name, is the, is the meaning of that. Uh, so holy uh, Eve or holy Eve is that time of preparation for the celebration of the victory that God gives us as, as uh, his, his ambassadors and agents in a rather hostile world. The world 
can be hostile. There is evil out there. But we are equipped with the means to defeat evil and to go to heaven. And that's what we're celebrating on All Saints Day tomorrow. Very interesting. And I've got to catch this episode of the show. Monsignor Donald Sacano, Catholic advisor to the hit CBS TV show Evil, thank you so much for being with Pleasure. us. Pleasure. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.